Hi, welcome back. This is Christian. In this video, we're going to look at how you delete a current node between a list of link, uh, nodes. So we learned how to delete a head node and the tail node in a previous video. This time, how do you remove the node between two nodes? Okay, so it's a little bit you know, tricky, but it should not be that difficult. But again, as you do this, um, you also want to make sure that you can also check to see if the head is indeed um, the same as the tail. In that case, it would be a single node. If that's the case, then we have this case before. Um, so uh, let's see how this is done. So the idea is basically we use two uh, pointers. One is to the current node. Again, I showed you before that you can actually complete this in one node too, which is okay, as long as you go in that next time next, as opposed to the current node. But this time I'm gonna go and use, um, you know, back to the current node in the previous node and see how that's done, okay? So all I have to do is basically bypass this node to the next node. And then once you bypass that node, this will be collected by the trash collector, right? So if you don't use it at all, then it'll be removed from memory. So that's the idea. All right, so let's go and see how this is done. So back in here, so beautiful pets um, emojis over here on the right side. Now we're going to remove, for example, let's say for the rooster from the list, right? So let's go right on here. And this time I'm gonna have, uh, we already have the, um, you know, uh, the function to remove the head, right, and the tail. So if we check to see if that is indeed the tail or the tail, then we'll just call this function and take advantage of these two functions. So we have to do over and again, okay? So I mean, we'll see in a minute. So we'll do here, remove, um, what should we call this? We're gonna remove item, I guess, um, then we need to find a key and then the item to be removed. So <clears throat> as usual, if self.head is equal to none, then nothing to do. I also gonna put a current node is equal to the self.head and then the previous node is indeed none. And then while the current node is not equal to none, that means we haven't reached the tail yet, then we go ahead and do the following. So again, right before you forget, update the two nodes, okay? It'll be to the current node, and then the current node is equal to its next node. Okay, make sure you do that before you forget. Now up here, so we're gonna check the value. If the current node, the item is indeed the key, we found it, right? And then we have to check to see if the key is the current node or not, I mean the head node or not, right? If the head node, then we pass it to the function remove head. Uh, yeah, remove the head. If it's the tail, then we pass it to the remove tail to handle that. So we don't have to do all this, this over again, okay? And otherwise we just do our own in insert and removal in between. So we'll say if, um, if the current node is equal to the head, if that's the case, then we'll just call it the self remove head, okay? Uh, because that is always the item right, it's the matching one. Um, else, if the current node is the tail, then we just call it a remove tail. Okay. Otherwise, it must be in between, okay? So if it's in between, like for example, the rooster, the, all we have to do is we're gonna remove uh, this node by pointing the previous next pointer to the current next pointer, so we will bypass the current node. And that's your one simple operation. So we'll do previous that next is assigned to the current node that next. And that's it. That's all you have to do here. And finally, uh, out of this um, loop here, out the if block, we also want to say um, size uh, is equal to uh, minus one, right? We move one. So again, just to return here, we're done. Okay. And I think that's it. So let's give it a try. Actually, you know what? I did not use the item here. Um, yeah, we don't need the item here. We just the keys here. We're not be moving the additional item. We just need the key to, to match the key here. So I just noticed that we didn't use that one. So let's save it again and let's try if this thing works. Now I'm gonna copy this again one more time. Oh, this is going really huge now. <laughs> It's okay, I will do a few print statements down here. So we have, you know, a couple of um, um, lines. Okay, two extra lines. All right, so this time we're gonna remove 
the rooster. So sorry, rooster, I'm gonna remove you from the list. So we move uh, item and the item is gonna be the rooster. Okay, so that's that one. And then after we move the rooster, we go going to remove um, the pig. So it's gonna be the last, right? So we move the pig as well. Let's remove uh, here. I'm gonna duplicate this. We'll do, we'll do three of them. So the rooster is gonna be removed. And then we have dog, cat, and pig. So we remove the pig. And then after that, we just have the dog and the cat. So let's move the head, which is the dog. So we copy the dog. And finally, if it's correct, our last list should be just the cat all by itself. All right, so let's put here, let's put here, remove uh, item. And cross your fingers. Let's clear the list first. There we go. Boom, oh, error, yay. All right, so remove tail, did that mean remove tail? This, okay, I probably have a typo. I can see it, remove. Uh, where is it? Right here, there we go. And you should have told me. All right, one more time, clear my console. And there we go. Okay, so it seems to be successful, right? So here's the remove. We remove the rooster, and then we remove the pig, and we remove the dog, so that we have only just the cat. I mean, a little bit confusing. I apologize, but let's do this. Let's do one at a time, okay? I know it's probably easier that way. I should have. It's, just, it's hard to see. Okay, one more time, one step at a time. So here we go, is remove the, um, right here, right? Remove the uh, pig first. So now no pig, remove the dog, and then no dog, just a cat left. Okay, if you do one more time, if you remove the, you know, um, if you remove one more, so the list is empty. Why not, right? <laughs> it was have so much fun here. Okay, so I'm gonna move the cat. Okay, and then if that is removed, then our list is completely empty at this point, as you can see over here. So we are now done. All right, so you can see that we've done a lot of operations here. We learned how to create a node, um, you know, uh, Add to the end of the list, add to the front, print in order, print reverse using recursion, we search a key, return that node to do some operations. Be careful because if you call this key here, you do some manipulation to the current node, you may break the chain because this is a reference type, okay? Uh, so be careful with that. We insert a node after a particular key, that's before a key. We did a remove of the head and the tail. And we also did a remove an item between, and that is all for most of the operations. So I hope this is helpful. And um, let's see if I have any more things to, uh, to add. All right, so I guess in the next and last video, we're going to create two functions to update a list for replacement and also how to um, search a list using the position instead of the actual image or the item, we can search by index. And of course, by doing that, we can uh, um, know by the size of the array, right, or the list. So I'll see you in the next video.